Okay, here's one that I've been wanting to do for a while, and we're just going to jump into it. I can't find my mini tripod, so I'll just try to hold the camera as still as I can. Okay, this is a tip on canning in general, but these happen to be potatoes that I canned up last uh, August. And you can tell the discoloration right here, so it's mainly a tip on, you know, stuff going bad. And even if you follow these procedures, the canning procedures exactly, you're still going to have some spoilage every now and then. Um, basically, uh, the procedure I went through was to sterilize the jars, sterilize, sterilize the rings and the lids, and um, and then follow the the you know prescribed canning method for for this particular vegetable. And you can tell. I mean, this is very obvious. And uh, my money says that's botulism and. That's a true heavyweight killer when it comes to killing people. Um, even the people that survive it uh, can have uh, nerve damage for years, if not for life, and it should never, never be underestimated. One of the key uh, ways to tell on any food is to take the lid off when you go to prepare it and, and just take a whiff of it. And if it does not smell exactly like what it should be, and characteristic of that particular vegetable, then then throw it away. I have read that you can uh, neutralize botulism through uh, cooking it like 20, 30 minutes. I don't take the chance. Um, and this is very obvious. Now, the reason I have these other ones, they were all canned at the same time. And in 35 years of canning, I've only had this happen one time uh, besides this, and that is these lids did not seal, and, and here's the strange thing about it, is that they did seal originally. And uh, when they cooled down, you could hear that characteristic sound that that makes right there. Okay, now you can see the, the lid has, the dome is popped back up on that one. The, the, it's down on this one, this one, and this one, but they have been up just like this. So even though they haven't been discolored, I'm not gonna take the chance I'll uh, put all this in the compost pile and uh, recycle it that way. And uh, my advice to anybody is, is not to take the chance. I mean, this is obvious. This one here is obvious, visually obvious. And I'm sure if you were to take the, 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 the lid off, it, you, it would really smell very, very bad. It would be very noticeable that it's ruined. But these, these, May or may not be good. I'm not going to take the chance. And uh, one quick tip on, on why I think that these did this was these jars, by the way, they were Walmart jars, probably from China, I'm sure. And uh, these lids were in the box, and they were, and this was old. This, they, they were many years old. Um, from what I've read, you can still use these when, when they're up to three years old, but I've used them much when they were much older than that. But these had that particular hard red uh, resin. And w when we went through the canning process with them, I, I think my personal opinion of why these didn't seal was because of that. Because they were so old that, this, that the, the sealing compound was hardened and didn't allow them. Like I said, in 35 years of canning, I've only had that happen one other time. So I'm not going to take a chance with these. And that's my advice on, on canning. So uh, um, recommendation on a Christian video. Um, one of the very best that I've heard in years and I highly recommend this is, is the official version, the official video version, Big Daddy Weave, my story. And uh, this, those guys are way too happy. Um, um, it's really an inspiration to watch. The song is an inspiration. And I particularly love watching Jay Weaver. He gets into that bass and, and he's like he's on cloud nine. So I highly recommend that. It's a great song. Those guys are very blessed. And, and you'd be blessed uh, to enjoy their music. So till next time, you'll take care. See you later. And keep in mind, it doesn't always have to be visually obvious. I, I would say these are probably not worth the risk either. But that's how they look when they're visually going bad. So y'all take care and be careful on your cannon.